Hello guys, it's Hybrid Wayne here. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, use a sliding window on a data frame. It's uh, mostly used for a data series and how to flatten it also. Like for example, if you have a sliding window from three, you need to use all these three. This is uh, time one, this is time two, this is time three and what you need is only the label from the third one this is what you usually do so instead of uh, giving this to a neural network as a 2d vector we will flatten this we will take this first row here this one here and this one here and of course we will take only the last label so this will be the label for the whole window one thing you, you need to uh, consider and be careful of sometimes if you have like for example here person a and person b if you iter on the whole uh, data frame the sliding window will start here let's say you have a sliding window uh, size 2 it will start here then it will co uh, goes to here it's all fine but when it goes to here you got a window that contains data from person A and data from person B. So this is very, very important to, uh, like a, a mistake I made personally. So you need to be careful of that. Uh, so wh what you need to do is you need to iter first on the A's and then on the B's. I will show you the code that I have. So the code I, will, I have, it's uh, based on this data uh, frame. So, it's very simple. It's a sliding window with one step only, and eventually it will flatten the rows. Uh, what you need to do is, here I'm importing NumPy, even though I actually I don't need it. It doesn't matter. You need pandas, iter tools, and then you need to load the data.csv. And the data would look like this. It's exactly the same uh, shape. This is exactly the same data. It's now inside our Jupyter uh, notebook. Uh, so here it will say uh, the maximum window size. So since person A only has three rows, we cannot make a window that is four, uh, that is size four. So this function will calculate the minimum amount of rows uh, for one, for each, no, from one person, for example. So now defining the variables, I have three variables. Window size, since the maximum window size is three, I chose two. And features number, how many features do you have? So your data frame should have this look name at first this is the uh, table the features in the middle and the class is at the end so if your data frame has this form maybe you can reform it you only need to define these three functions that i have here i'm not going to explain them uh, uh, in details but this one flatten the rows this is for sliding window this converts rows to windows I will show you what comes out so from the function the first function you need to run is rows to windows so this function will make a window we said window size 2 will make a window and we'll add it, we'll append it to the to the data frame. For example, here, as you see here, this is window zero, and this is window one because A had only three uh, rows. Then we can build two windows out of it. And here B, what you get out of this function is here the old name uh, here the name of the person for example and here is the window number 
window 0, window 1. Person B, it had, of course, it will have more windows because it had more rows. So it will have three windows from 0, 1, and 2. Here you can see the only difference here is the numbers. Now the future uh, column, it was converted to numbers. And this is needed for the next function that will flatten the rows. So at first, you can keep it like this. If you need the uh, data frame in this form, maybe you can change it. What I do here is I uh, return also the features columns. What I give in this rows to windows function, here's my data frame. Here's the name column in which it was uh, this one, name. It will iter on it. Here features numbers, number, uh, the number of features that I have. And here I have uh, only two. And here's the window size. So giving all these uh, parameters to the function, it will give uh, this data windows. This is the, the data frame. This is how it, look, how it, it will look like. And it will also give me the features. The features is F1 and F2. So after running rows to windows, you need to run flatten rows. So now to flattening the rows, you will see that now, as I said before, we had two windows, Windows 0 and Windows 1, but they were stacked on each other. Now they are in rows, they are flattened. And here you can see this is feature 1 of Windows 0, feature 2 of Windows 0, feature 1 of Windows 1, feature 2 of uh, Window 1. No, it's actually for window zero, but uh, ah, this is, is this is time two. This is time one, and this is time two. Or row. This was the row zero. This is row one. Because it's a window uh, of size two, so this is the row, row one, and this is the row two from the window size. And as you can see here, we made it successfully that to this form that this is window 1, this is window 2. And all the rows here are perfectly aligned, like 1, 2, 3, 4. Since uh, our window size is only 2, so 1, 2, 3, 4, the next shift would be 3, 4, 5, 6. As you can see here, so if you had a window, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4. This is one window. The second window will be 3, 4, 5, 6. And the first label, it should be 1, and the second label should be 0. So let's go back here. We'll see. The first label of the class is 1, the second one is 0. You can check it by yourself. I just wanted to share this with you because it took a lot of time uh, for me to find, to like to make it uh, in this way, in this shape. And uh, I've used like... Uh, Searched a lot for, for a function that can do this. I couldn't find it, so I thought um, I would share it with you guys. So if you um, liked it, if you if it was any helpful for you, uh, please write in the comments. If you have any questions, uh, also write them in the comments. I will try my best to answer them. So uh, have fun, guys and girls. And wish you good luck. Sorry, it's I've, for the for sorry for the comments, and it's I know it's not clean, but I really don't have the time. I really don't have the time. But if you read it, you will understand. If you have a bit of knowledge of pandas and stuff, you would understand. Um, the only thing that could uh, we could do an improvement. This uh, script needs an improvement with a step. This is this is made with only one step. If you, if you want, you can add more steps. Like you can program the steps and uh, give me a notice. So that was it from me, guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.